The CDC says not to touch your face. People with glasses. When the glasses fall forward. <laughs> Just like, go up, go back up, go back up. No, okay, how do I fix this? Ah, uh, no, that's not working. Maybe, yeah, okay, it worked, it worked. There we go, didn't touch my face. Didn't touch my face, there you go. Solved our problems. Welcome friends, Oscar here, and it's time for the vlog, and oh my god, do I wish I had a Dr. Kirby right now? I wish I had a Dr. Kirby, he'd be right here. First thing, real quick, you know that meme that's going on right now where people are like, finally we have this thing? The only one that made me laugh, obviously because of course it did, the only one that made me laugh was like, finally, the Great Cave Defensive, which, if you're a Kirby fan, you get the joke. Okay, so challenge! How many times is Scott going to touch his face without thinking about it? That is the question, because right now my glasses have already fallen forward, so... One? Okay, okay, let's do that dumb thing again. There we go, they're back up in my face! Alright, so how many times? Because here's the thing! Here's how Scarf thinks. Like, I'm like, hmm, do that. I do the freaking Evangelion dad thing. I can't remember his name right now. Or I'll stroke my beard. Or I will stroke my moustache. And now, and then obviously, I fix my glasses a lot. They droop forward a lot. They're already going forward. It's ticking me off. So, if you have glasses, you're kind of going to get sick no matter what. I think that's how it is. And because I'm talking about it, my face is getting itchy. My face is getting itchy just talking about it. So, why am I talking about the coronavirus finally? Because it's here. It's in my sphere of influence now. It is in Cal... It is in... It's been in California, but it is in San Diego. It is officially in San Diego as of yesterday. Dude came in from Italy and just went all over the damn place. And then he gets found to have the coronavirus. So, fudge. I was going to go to the gym this morning. Then I read this like, I'm not going to the gym now. And now it's just, just the back and forth, like, do I just go to, do I just live my life anyway? That's the question I'm asking myself. Do I live my life until I get sick and then quarantine for two weeks? That is what I'm wondering, because it's possible I just don't do anything for months and never catch it or still catch it. So I don't know what is the correct response. Like, the moment I catch it, it's quarantine. That's what's going to happen here. So that's what I'm asking myself is, do I just live my life, be as careful as I can be, and then catch it and then get through it? And there you go. The reason why I don't want to catch it at all is obviously there's always that chance you're one of the people who gets killed. Of course, it's mostly not you. It's not it's not me. It's not people in my health range. It's usually children because they don't have a freaking immune system yet and old people because their immune system is old and busted now. That's that's what's happening. So the highs and lows are the ones who are going to get in trouble here and my glasses are bugging me really bad right now and I really want to fix my glasses. Like, I went to the bank. I'm like, all right, well, there's Purell everywhere, so I'm good on that. But I'm like, all right, so just, just be careful. Don't touch anything. I'm like, I talked to the town, I'm like, oh, yeah, you got to make sure you don't touch your face for like eight, ten hours a day right now, huh? And everyone cops are already like, Whoa, back up. Like, that's the thing. Customer service, like waiters, anything that deals with the public is effed. They're probably going to get it. And then they're going to have to stay home and, and be sick for 14 days. Like, that's what it is right now. Quarantine for 14 days to be safe. That's what it is. Because that's the longest they've seen it be able to be spread. It was like, damn. And the, Okay, 14 days not counting. So, it's like 14 days after the virus. They want to be that sure about it. So, it's like, damn. So, that's, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, I have enough vacation time. I can do that. Not everyone does have enough vacation time. They can do that. By the way, all my vacation time is saved up for my back surgery, so I have to somehow get more vacation time for my back surgery now if if I get sick with the coronavirus. And that's the thing, is anywhere public can get you sick. The hospital itself can get you sick, because obviously the sick are there already, so they could always spread it on accident. Because people aren't really smart about healthcare, about taking care of themselves or anyone else, really. Like, I can tell you right now, my dad just sneezes onto his hands. He coughs into his hands. And he's not going to, he doesn't pure all that stuff. He doesn't do any of that. He just, hands go right back on the wheel, goes wherever. He's just touching things. This is, that, that's, that's just my dad. That's, millions of people are going to be just like that. Me, I cough into my shirt. I sneeze into my shirt. It's all right here. It ain't going anywhere else. It's just right here. 
no one's touching me here, whether I like it or whether I want them to or not. No one's touching me here, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, my face, or my hands, um, I'm very shy, so I don't really touch a lot of things. I only touch my own things for the most part. I'm at work, of course, i got to touch things there. So obviously, just sanitize the crap out of everything at work, and then we're good. Really, honestly, I've already washed my hands. I am safe to touch my face, but now that I've said how many times have I touched my face, I haven't touched my face at all. When I'm at work, it's going to be a whole lot of just sanitize the area, wash your hands often. I wash my hands after every lab anyway. I wash my hands maybe, uh, I will say, six times uh, at work, maybe eight times. I wash my hands quite often at work anyway, so I'm probably good there. It's just a trick of, will I touch my face before I wash my hands? That's the thing, because these glasses keep falling forward. They keep going forward. They are very forward now, and it's bugging my vision and my face. And it feels so itchy right now just because I'm thinking about it. Interesting. It's right, the projection is everyone's going to get it at some point. We're all going to get it. It's like the flu. We're all going to get it. The fear is that we're going to have two flus at this point. We're going to have the flu, and then we're going to have this coronavirus. Maybe it'll just keep going around, or we can stamp it out. Because remember, SARS happened. I forget what the other ones. EMAC, Merx. I can't remember what it's called right now. MERS. Those happen, and then they stopped, for the most part. And the fear is, what if this is the one that just it sticks around, just like the flu, and then we have to have two different freaking vaccines every year? Wouldn't that suck? Because haven't you wondered that? Why haven't we completely wiped out the flu? And that's because the flu just keeps evolving. And that is the fear about other diseases, of what if they evolve, and then we have multiple things we have to have a vaccine for? Because the coronavirus has happened before. It's, it's happened before, and it just goes away eventually. But it's happened before. We've had this before. But nothing is the flu. Nothing is the same as the flu. And then the cold is a different thing. A cold is like 200 different things that just cause the same problem. I will see what happens here. We'll really see what happens with this. But it's in San Diego now, so now I gotta stress. Because I was gonna go out to like a fest thing tomorrow. Uh, so I don't know if I'm... Well, at the moment, it seems like I'm still gonna go. Uh, Emerald City Comic Con got cancelled. They, they're postponing it or cancelling it all together this year. That's unfortunate. Uh, there, there is a case. There, they found a case on in the in one of the uh, like one of the Seattle colleges. They found it, so now there there's no more classes for now. Schools are closed in Japan. Like things are just like we're not doing crap. WonderCon's a month away, and they haven't said they're going to cancel it or anything. And people are going to tell them they should cancel it for sure. Of course, I think they're hoping that everything will happen before WonderCon, so that WonderCon doesn't have to be canceled. Same thing goes for Comic-Con. GDC got cancelled. A bunch of conferences are getting cancelled. A bunch of conventions. Everything's getting cancelled. Like, a personal thing. Scarf picked a bad time to subscribe to some dating apps. <laughs> I spent a couple hundred on dating apps. And now nobody wants to go outside! I picked a bad time to be like, you know what? I don't want to be lonely anymore. Let's go look for dates. And then the coronavirus happens. It's like, fuck. Like, once you get it, you, 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 it's like anything, like, you get it, you, you could always get an, uh, uh, a mutation of it later, but at least you're, you're probably good with the first one, so. I don't know, there's always the chance that someone healthy might get taken out, too. Like, I don't know all of the people who got sick. I assume the doctor who whistle blew it and died anyway was plenty healthy, and then, you know, they screwed him over. Uh, what was it? I'm wondering, like, Onward came out, like, what, the 6th? I bet that movie's not going to do as well as it could have because of the virus. Like, movie going? I don't know. Not a lot of people can go to movies. I'm still going to go to movies Monday. Uh, I'm going to go see Onward Monday. Because my movie theater, only like 20 people go to these movies. Uh, go to these movie theater. My movie theaters. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I probably won't touch anything or meet any, or touch anyone or anything like that. Uh, sanitize my chair. Sanitize all that stuff. And I should be all right. I, in theory... I should be all right, all right, all right. I don't know. These glasses are going further down my face, by the way. I can feel it. Um, anything else with the coronavirus? So, real quick, in case you don't know, but you gotta know by now, it's, uh, don't touch your face, wash your hands, 20 seconds, uh, the mask won't do shit. By the way, like, everyone's freaking about the mask, like, they're not gonna do a damn thing. Why are they not gonna do a damn thing? Because you can't mask your eyes. You, you can't put a mask on your eyes. That's just how it'd be. Yeah, you're going to prevent breathing it in. You're going to prevent... Well, you're... 
the thing is, they haven't figured out whether you can eat the, the virus or not. They haven't figured that out yet. They're still wondering because it has been found in some people's stool. So that means people have consumed the virus. Um... So they're not 100% sure. Well, also because it's once it's here, it can trickle down to here anyway. So once it's in the lungs, which it's a respiratory disease, a respiratory virus, it can, go, it can drip down into your throat and then you're ingesting it. So that's the thing. They don't know if ingestion leads to it or if it's just, you know, uh, nose and eyes. Because the, the nose and eyes are linked. They're, they're in the sinus. They're sinusly linked. They're linked through the sinus. That's the way to put it. Like when you get sick and you get a headache, that's because that's all linked together. That's what's happening there. Like, they're swelling, and that's causing the headache, and it sucks. That's because they're linked. They're also linked to your ears. I'm actually curious if you can get sick through your ears, but who's touching your ears? Well, you could also touch your own ears, of course. But, um, like, the ears, the eyes, the nose, they're all linked together, and the mouth is right next to it, so it's kind of linked as well. Like, it's a neighbor. Uh, no, it's actually... Everything's linked eventually, but... It's not necessarily linked to the sinus system, but it's right there, so you can say it's linked anyway, I guess. Uh, so there's no, there's, they're not sure if you can ingest it. You can definitely breathe it in. You can also get it in through your eyes and your nose. I don't know about your ears. I'm not sure about that. Maybe it takes too, it's too far to get there because the ear canal and all that. But I'm not sure. I really am not 100% sure on that one. And just, just the trip is you could be asymptomatic and you can spread it. That's a scary thing. Like, I have older relatives, and I have nieces and nephew, and a nephew. So, I'm going to say nephews. I have a nephew. So, I don't want to get them sick, obviously. I don't want to get them sick, so I'm worried about that. So, I'm worried about going to the gym. I'm worried about being out in public. I'm not in public that much, but I've been, I want to be more out in public, because I'm trying to get some dates up in here. So, I don't know. I'm kind of just worried a little bit. Like, I, I already said I didn't go to the gym today, because I was like... Oh, um, I'm not going to the gym tomorrow because I'm going, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to the festival or not, but then Sunday I'm going to the gym. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh, it's, it's, it's a little stressful. It's definitely a little stressful. Not sure. Not sure what's the thing to do here. Not sure what's the right thing. I just say fudge it, get it, and then quarantine. I don't know. I don't know. I really, really want to touch my face right now, though, because I want to fix these damn glasses, which I'm going to have to fix again ten seconds later anyway. Oh, uh, why can't glasses just fit? Well, the other, like, the other thing is you don't want them to just fit just because, um, then they make those dents. That's it. One thing that sucks about glasses is you eventually get those dents in your face, and I don't want to have dents, but I also, I don't know, contacts also freak me out as well. And I can't fix my eyes. I have a... I don't know if it's autoimmune. It might be autoimmune. I forget. I just have a genetic thing, which hopefully my kids don't get, uh, where I have just thin retinas, and they can tear easily. And so because of that, no one will do a laser eye surgery because they don't want to risk effing it up and making me blind. So, yeah. That ain't happening. All right, time for a, li a lighter note. Okay, Jinx just cut me doing this. <laughs> I'll just leave the glasses here. Okay, I'm going to fix them. By the power of gravity, they're no longer bugging me. All right. Yeah, like, right here. Does this count as touching your head? Does this count as... Uh, th well, it's not your face, but it's still touching your head. Could this travel over? Like, this right here is linked to your sinuses. Can this go in and then you're done? Like, that is a question I'm curious about, because it is linked. Uh, I don't think this counts as touching my face. But it could still be a problem because it's still linked in the system. So I'm curious about that. Um, honestly, the way I've learned to do my glasses anyway has always been with the wrist in case of illness. So I've always done this for like ever. I've done this a long time. Honestly, I got this because of One Piece. I, I started doing that because of One Piece. I know that already. Um, Which was years ago. So I've always, I usually fix my glasses like this. That's always, I've, I've fixed my glasses for a long time. I only fix my glasses by doing this when I'm talking to someone because this looks weird to everyone else. I don't do it in front of when I'm talking to people. Um, different subjects. So Scarf has a porn cub, uh, porn cub, porn hub account now. Let that sink in. So why does Scarf have a porn hub account? Okay. So for years, years, 
Ever since we got 10k subs, we've been getting porn thrown at us. We've we've had a lot of porn games thrown at us over the years. I'm not talking just about um what the hell was that one? The the match three that everyone flipped out about in the in the gaming world for a little bit. Don't remember. But you know what game I'm talking about potentially? It was like it was dating sim and match three and there was sex. And like and the sex was a match three game. Which is ridiculous. But uh But, um, I can't remember the name of that game. I just can't. I'm trying. Honey Pop? Was it? Yeah, Honey Pop. I think it was called Honey Pop. Honey Pop. Honey Pop was the game. So I have that game. I have the sequel, sequel game too. Um, I I just have a lot of just various porn sent us. Also a lot of etchy games too, but I don't count those as porn. They're etchy for a reason. They're, they're very boobed. I like the Senran games. But I have straight up porn games sent at us. And a month ago, I'm like, all right, let's play this game. All right, this seems cool. And I'm like, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's a censored porn game. Oh, all right, well, all right. I don't know about that. And then I just got more sent at me. So I'm like, I have a bunch. I can't. I have a YouTube channel. What do they expect me to do? Just do a crap ton of censoring? Is that what they're pl- ex- planning for me to do? I just, I'm like, okay, all right, fudge it, fudge it. I'll cover it somehow. And here's the way I'm going to do it. And that is just put the videos on Pornhub. I'm going to do Scarf Plays on Pornhub. I'm going to put them up on Sundays because I'm Christian. Um, I'm going to put them up on Sunday mornings because I'm Christian. I, I literally, like, yeah, let's do Sunday mornings. Why not? So I'm putting them up every week on Sunday mornings on Pornhub. Under Silk Scarf. Uh, P-H. Because Silk Scarf was taken. I could have tried Silky Scarf, but it's too late. I put Silk Scarf, PH. I'm putting under that. I'm like, hey, uh, I have like 10k subs on, on YouTube. I have 2 million views. I'm just putting this content here for the sake of making content because I'm a workaholic. Like, that's what I'm doing. And we'll see how it goes. I, it probably won't last long, but I'll do it for a while. Just like, look, I got content I can make. Why not make the content kind of thing? And maybe people like it. Maybe people won't. It could be like anything else. But in the back of my mind, there's that thought of, what if you get popular for this? What if this is what you're remembered for? Like, what if this is the... I don't think it is. I don't think we're that quality. But what if it was? Just thought experiment. What if you became known for that? And that was the thing I was just thinking about, because... There are, like, people who just do things. Like, let's say... Oh, what's an example? Like... Is it Steely Dan, maybe? Like, Steely Dan, they have all these... I don't think it's Steely Dan. I think it's a different band. But let's say Steely Dan for now. Steely Band has all these, mu- all these music, all these, like, songs they do. This kind of style. And then for fun, they do a different kind of song. I think it was Do It Again. And they did this one, like, just for fun, and just like, let's, let's do something that's not like our thing, just for fun, and there you go. And then that's the one that really catches on. No, I'm not thinking of Steely Dan. It's some other... Like, there's a guy who's really jazzy and all this stuff, and then he made this other song, which is like, let's make a homogenized, really boring song that is all the things people like, and it's just, that'll just be us taking the piss out of this kind of music. And it's their only hit. Well, it's their only major hit. Like, they have hits in their niche, but here it's their big major hit, and how does that feel? So how would that feel to be the guy who just looks at porn games and goes, what the fuck? And and who the guy who sounds like Charlie Day who who plays porn games? What if that became my thing? It won't. It it won't. It won't. But just the thought of him was like, what if? There's also the thought of an experiment of what if Scratch never left Smite. I don't know. Like there is that video going around right now about like how Smite wasted its potential, and I agree. I agree. It did waste its potential. I really do. Um. Yeah, so we'll put out, I'll put out information for that for anyone who's actually interested. I know we have, because I have some furry games, so I'm going to look at those, and I know we have furries in our community. So I know they might want to look at that. I know that for sure. I got just, I have a lot of porn games. I, I like, not on purpose, obviously, but I have a bunch. I'm like, oh, guess we'll cover guess we'll cover them. There you go. Uh, other things, hardcore is being made. Uh, Celeste 
the farewell that's coming out. That should be a that's a fun LP to show. But we struggled through it, but we beat it. We're done with that. We finished uh, Celeste Farewell, so that LP is going to come out. There's going to be some hardcores. This is all just until we get to Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing. So it's going to be Doom Eternal for sure, and at least like one or two Animal Crossing, Scarface Animal Crossing. There's going to be plenty of streaming of Animal Crossing for sure, and there'll be some Animal Crossing on the side channel. I can guarantee. By the way, side channel finally has Kirby's Dreamland Land uh, two on there. There's going to be a lot of Scar plays indie games. I'm getting back into the indie games as best I can, but there's some more one-shots coming out as well. And there's also just still a lot of bad indie games. So let me tell you about a game real quick. Just Oh, just in general. So when you play, I've played, I don't know, 500 indies by this point? 400. Let's be conservative. 400 indies by this point. We've played a lot of indies. Not all of them get Scar plays either. Like, if they're absolutely, absolutely not great, they don't get a Scar plays at all. But we've played a lot of indie games. And a common thing with a lot of indie games is they just are really bad at sound balancing. Sound balancing? And it's not good. Like, you need some good sound balance. Because if your sound is annoying, it's not great. Another one is not all of them do it, but some do have sound effects also be the dialogue volume. You could have a loud as F explosion, so you put down the sound effects. And then they have someone talk, and they sound like a damn whisper, so you put it up. So it's like, but what do I do? You, it's just separate sound effects from dialogue. Always do that. When you don't, it just sounds not great, and I'm not going to recommend your game. That's for sure. There, there is a pretty. There's a game that's not bad. It's got potential to it, but it's got them like, Ugh, forget it. Like I do a start. Uh, uh, so here's the process. I don't. I don't think I'm explaining this in a while. So we get the game. I'll do a scarf plays. That's stage one. The scarf plays the first half an hour. That's gonna go on the side channel. I'm playing, I'm like, alright, well, maybe I like it, maybe I don't, this or that, whatever. And if I don't like it, that stays at the Scar Place. If I like it, then I'll play some more. And some games, I'll play a lot more. Right now, I'm playing Banner of the Maid a lot. I'm probably going to beat the game. I'm going to do the one-shot today. At, I'm at the halfway point, so I'm going to do the one-shot today for sure. But I'm going to probably beat that game. It is Fire Emblem meets the French Revolution, but alternate history. Like... What if women were a part of the, the French army during the French Revolution period? Like, that's what it is. And so, because there's women there, it changes history a little bit. So that's what's, what that game is. And it's Fire Emblem, so it's pretty fun. I like it. It's, it is not as polished as Fire Emblem. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty good, so it's good enough to recommend. So, Scarf plays, research, from that point, I'm spending maybe like four to ten hours of research. And then from there, I decide, is it a one-shot for recommendation, or it's done? Do I go any further? Because sometimes I have played a game, like, I really like the first two hours. And then it just has a really bad curve, or it's just, the story just goes to crap, or something goes wrong. I'm like, no recommendation. That has happened. That has happened on a few good potential games. And then there's the early access games. If they're crap... At this point, I'm like, I'll check it out in six months. If it's still crap then, then I'll just drop it. If it's better, then I'll keep paying attention to it. And sometimes it's just really good early access games where I'll recommend it right away. Because I'm spending the time to research these games, and I, I'm looking at maybe like a dozen to two dozen a month at this point. And as you can see, there's not that many one-shots now, are there? And this is because we wanted this. We decided that it must be absolutely worth recommending. Like, it's a game like, yeah, it's good, You could, it's worth buying, play it. Because some of our old one-shots, you know, it was just like, well, there's potential there, so I'll, I'll recommend it. Like, no, 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 no more just potential, it's gotta be worth playing. It's gotta be worth it, not, maybe it'll be better later, maybe some people like it, and those like, this is a game to play. So we're bringing up the quality of the one-shots. That's what we're doing. So there's gonna be less of them, but they're gonna be on games that are Damn well worth playing. Of course, not every genre is for every person. Like, this Fire Emblem game is not going to be for people who don't like Fire Emblem, but for the people who like Fire Emblem, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I forget what the other one-shots are at the moment, but whatever the one-shots have been, there are games that, if this is your genre, you're going to love the game. That's what they are right now. Looking at the future games I have, like, uh... Where is it? Yeah, there's some games in here that got potential uh, that I have coming up. Uh, like, there's a, there's a game called Monster Sanctuary. It's an early access game, 
It is Metroidvania with Pokemon. You run into a Pokemon, and you'll do a Pokemon JRPG battle. And it's 3v3 fights, which is kind of cool. I like that for sure. It's got potential. It's early access. I like it a lot. I'm going to play more of it, and is it going to be worth recommending now, or should I wait a little bit and play it as it gets developed and then recommend it? There's that one. There's another game called Skull. That one's getting a lot of attention right now. It's a, kind of like a Dead Cells-like kind of game. It's got potential, but it ain't there yet. I don't feel like it's there yet, so I'm not recommending it yet. Another game called Stone Shard, which is like um, more Diablo, but like top-down RPG-style Diablo. And it's got potential as well, but it's an early access game that they're going to be working on for two years. So uh, I have to research it, see if it's really worth it or not kind of a thing. Like, those are games who have some potential there. There's some other games that are just, they're absolute trash right now, but they still are access. I'll check them out in a little bit later. And then there's some games that are just not worth it. They're, they're even as finished products, they're just not worth playing. And that's just a thing that happens. And yes, we have gotten quite a few over the years Unity asset flips that are just awful. And it's very unfortunate, very frustrating, and very disappointing. Um, Nothing is worse than Ibn Batuti, though. That was the worst freaking one. Oh my god. Uh, anything else to talk about? Oh, I'm going to start working on Kirby's Avalanche soon, so we can talk about that. We can do that podcast in the future. And I think that's everything. So, yeah, thanks for everything to talk about. Coronavirus. Catch my face. Coronavirus. Uh, Pornhub. <laughs> and just uh, the indie game scene, what we're doing with that. When, when an indie game, by the way, when an indie game, like, we, those who watch the stream, when I start an indie game, it's just loud as F. For some reason, indie games are always at 100% volume, just to F you up for some stupid reason. Whenever there's an indie game where they're at 50% volume, and then they actually have varying levels for music, and sound effects, and voice, and all that, and stuff like that, all that stuff, I know they at least paid attention to that, which gives me a better... Ch- better thought on what they might be going forward because they actually took the time to think about that while other developers it's just everything's 100 there you go i'm like that's not a good touch not a good idea there like the little things can add up to tell you about the big thing so there you go that right there is the vlog i had fun talking about if i'm watching and that and or listening and that's what's all about isn't having fun thanks come by and see you next time and you know wash your hands wash your hands like, th- this isn't exactly the symbol of washing hands. It's like, ha <laughs> money time. Mm. So just, I just wash your hands or wash your... How do you wash your hands? I don't know. I, I, it's probably not the way to word it. Like, for me, it's like soap. Count to 20 and then I'm done. Now, that's how I do. That's how I do. Surgeons are a very different level of hand washing. Just saying. All right, see you next time.